Chapter 10 is Job thinking out loud, if you will, trying to decide what questions he wants to ask of the Lord. Now, as readers, we know the backstory, but for Job and his friends, they don't know any of this. This is a new level of spiritual warfare, one they didn't even know was in the realm of possibilities. Job doesn't know that his faith is being tested in front of heaven and earth as an attack by the enemy of our souls. So here Job is asking three groups of questions. First, did I do something to deserve this? Second, why are the righteous persecuted and the wicked prosper? And third, why did you create me if my only purpose was to be crushed? These are all great questions and God will answer them, but not in this chapter. In this chapter, there are no answers given and here's the lesson. Sometimes we have to walk through seasons where all we have are questions, and that's okay. As we sort through all the raw emotion displayed in this text, Job here models for us a healthy prayer life and an honest relationship that God longs to have with each of us. Notice though that in all of these questions, he didn't question God's greatness or that there was a greater purpose. He's simply seeking relief and to know what that purpose is. Ultimately, he's seeking to know the mind of Christ. That's what faith looks like. Listen to what James said about walking through these seasons in life. Dear brothers and sisters, when troubles come your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. So let it grow. For when your endurance is fully developed, you will be perfect and complete, needing nothing. If you need wisdom, ask our generous God, and He will give it to you. He will not rebuke you for asking. 